Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a hair tutorial and I'm going to show you how to get these soft, bouncy, Hollywoodish curls using heated rollers. This is a technique that I've been using on my hair recently because I really love the way it looks. I can't achieve this exact look with any of my other hair tools. And I posted a picture of my hair on Snapchat yesterday um, and asked if you guys wanted to see a tutorial and literally hundreds of you said yes. So that's what I'm going to do today. Please give the video a thumbs up for more hair tutorials and please do subscribe to my channel if you're new and if you're already subscribed please do turn on notifications for my channel by clicking on the little bell next to my name down below so you never miss a video. So keep watching to find out how I got this hair. So first of all I just want to run through with you the prep for the hair because it is quite important. Usually when I wash my hair I use really deep conditioning products to make my hair really soft and silky um, but that's not really the best thing to do when you're using heated rollers. If the hair is too like silky and slippery then it doesn't take to the curl very well and it's not going to stay and this also definitely does not work best on freshly washed hair so I think if you're planning to do this wash your hair the day before and just let it sit I washed my hair yesterday so my hair is like one day washed and the shampoo and conditioner I used this time was the Red Ken uh, Beach Envy Volume Texturizing Shampoo and then to style it I used some heat protectant spray you can use any this is a GHD one um, it is really important just to use a heat protectant on your spray because when you're blow drying and putting heated rollers in is a lot of pressure on your hair and it can be really damaging so it's definitely important to protect it. And then I also used some of this John Frieda Sheer Blonde Styling Foam and a mousse just helps again to texturise your hair and helps hold a style in. So there are all the products that I used on my hair and then I just gave it a rough blow dry to keep it relatively nice and shiny. So these are the rollers that I'm going to be using and these are the Babyliss Boutique Rollers and these are really nice because the barrel is velvety so it's a lot softer on your hair. Um, um, and it protects it a lot more. So you have 12 rollers in here that heat up and they're like a medium to large size. They're 32 millimeters. And I know that you can get rollers that are a lot bigger than this. These are like a medium to large standard size and they're all the same size as well, which I really like because in a lot of heated roller sets, um, you have like four large, four medium and four small. And I just don't really like that. I think it looks so much better if the curls are all the same size personally. And then also the clips that you use to clip in the roller are heated as well which is really good it just puts extra heat on the hair and is going to make the curl more defined and hopefully stay longer as well so this is the box they come in and now you can see why they probably caught my eye you can get them from boots i actually ordered mine from asos so i'll leave a link down below in the description box so yeah i'm going to show you how to use these to create some nice soft bouncy hollywood-esque but still like natural curls so to start off with you just want to brush through your hair because if it's knotted it's going to make this a lot more difficult so then you're just going to want to separate your hair into sections and again this totally depends on how much hair you have but personally I like to divide it up into three sections one middle section like going back and then the two sides so I'll start off by just kind of making sure my hair is going in the same direction and then I take a little comb but to be honest you could just use your fingers and you just want to like start to separate the hair going all the way back down to the back and now I have a line where the hair is going back and I'm just going to clip that section into place and do the same on the other side. So going from the front and just separating it all. So I've lifted you up so you can see what I'm doing. So I've got my middle section here and this is the section that I'm going to start with. And I'm going to start from the front and go backwards. And I have 12 rollers so I can use 4 rollers per section. So I'm going to start with this front section, making sure it's nicely brushed through so there are no knots. And I'm going to spray the hair before I put the roller in. And the hairspray that I'm using is the L'Oreal Elnet hairspray because I love these hairsprays. And this is the very volume version. I'm going to spray this all over the hair from root to tip. Then taking my first roller, I'm going to put the roller behind the hair and just wrap it round. And if you have layers, it's quite hard because the ends will pop out and you have to make sure that you tuck them in, otherwise you're gonna get like a straight bit at the end of your curl and you definitely don't want that. So flatten down those bits of hair that are trying to escape and roll the roller up to the, your head, keeping it really, really tight. That's so important. Even if it hurts your hair a little bit and feels like it's being pulled out, the tighter you can pull this in, the better. Then I'm just gonna secure it at the back with one of the heated clips. There's your first one done. Now pull out your next section and this is definitely an arm workout. Give it a spray. 
and just wrap the hair around, keeping it as tight and taut as possible. So now you should have something like this. It is quite tricky, I'm not gonna lie, it took me quite a few practices to get it right and even now, like, I'm still quite slow. Also another tip is to try and get the hair as flat as possible on the roller. Try and make sure that it's not twisted. So now I'm going to move on to the side sections of my hair and literally just repeat all of those steps. So I'm going to start with the top section which is like the most important section. Quick all over spray and pull the hair really tight over the barrel. Remember to just tuck in the stray hairs as you go along. Pull it nice and tight and clip it into place. So I have all 12 rollers in and I've just given my hair another spray of hairspray and you need to leave these in as long as possible. I think the instruction manual says about 15 minutes but I personally try and leave them in for an hour so go and have your breakfast if you're doing it in the morning, do your makeup, do other things and try and leave them in as long as possible. Don't take them out unless you can feel that they have completely cooled down. So I'm going to go and have my lunch and watch a bit of Gilmore Girls and come back and take them out for you. Okay, so it's been about an hour, so it's time to take the rollers out. So when you take them out, you need to be sure like to take them out really gently um, so you don't pull the curl out. So just like unwrap them like this and kind of just let the hair stay. And then this is the last layer of hairspray our hair will get, but just lightly spray the curl once you've taken it out. Okay, so obviously the hair looks a bit crazy right now, but obviously the reason we put so much hairspray in in the first place is because we are going to obviously brush the curls out. So the best kind of brush to use to brush curls out and brush most of the hairspray out is a soft bristle brush. This is the finishing brush by Denman, and you can really use any brush, but if you're going to use a brush like this one, my wet brush, which is my favourite brush, um, the little bristles are quite long, so they go quite deep into the hair and more likely to pull the curl out, whereas a soft, like, short bristle brush like this kind of just tames the top so it will take out any excess hairspray and also just make the curls look a bit more natural make the hair look nice and shiny um so this kind of brush is perfect for what we're doing so you want to start from the bottom you don't want to go like from the top and drag it down because that's just going to pull it all out so start from the bottom and just really gently brush through the curls if you have any kinks, like I've just noticed I have a slight kink in my hair here, maybe just from where um, I didn't put it across the roller as flat as I should have done, then just like take them out with your straightening iron. And then you're pretty much done. I mean, I 
wasn't planning on parting my hair like this but it just seemed to fall like this and I really like it so I think I'm just gonna leave it and it kind of adds to that old Hollywood glamour style anyway um so for the finishing touches you might just want to like tidy up the tops of your hair and even add in some volume so you could take your brush or if you have a kind of uh, comb like this or even my other comb like this and just spray a little bit of hairspray onto the comb um because we don't really want to spray our heads again because we've literally put so much hairspray on by now um and then you can just like tame the top of it just so it looks ultra smooth and glamorous because also where the hair has had heat on it um it's very prone to like flyaways and frizzy bits so you can just comb these out with a little bit of hairspray on your brush and then what i like to do is just add in a little bit of hair serum or oil just because again the heat has probably made it quite dry so it's nice to put a bit of moisture and hydration back into the hair so i like to use the aveda dry remedy oil this is one of my favorite hair products i love it so much it just really feels like it nourishes your hair but it doesn't make it oily or greasy at all so i just put a couple of drops of that into the palm of my hand rub it together and then just kind of put it into the ends. So then we're done. I really hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And let me know in the comment sections if there's any other hair tutorials, hair styles or techniques you'd like me to try out on my channel. Hope you all have an amazing week and as always I shall see you next Monday in my video. Bye!